guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another what I eat in a day for you. I love filming these videos, I love watching them. I'm always so nosy to see what other people are eating and I also like get meal ideas and stuff so I find them really helpful. So yeah, I really like to film them. If you didn't already know, I am vegan so this will be a vegan what I eat in a day. Please give it a like and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video as it really helps my channel to grow and I'm really really grateful. Okay, let's show you breakfast. So for breakfast this morning, I'm going to be having what has been one of my favourite breakfasts lately. So my favourite breakfast is a vegan pan au chocolat. Actually, it's not these ones. These are just croissants. So we shop at Tesco's and they only do the vegan croissants, not the vegan pan au chocolat. But I love the pan au chocolat. So my mum very kindly went to Sainsbury's and got it for me. Like, because it's really hard to find a vegan pan of chocolate, because obviously there's dairy in chocolate, there's dairy in pastry often, so um, these are not very easy to come by, but they have them in Sainsbury's, and honestly, they are so, so nice. So I'm going to be having one of these for my breakfast. Um, my mum literally went and bought me a load of packs, so they'll last me, like, quite a few weeks, so I'll get one from the open packet and put these back. Um, but yeah, these are honestly so good. Um, but what I like to do is I like them warm, but I don't faff around with the oven. I just put them in the microwave. So I'm going to pop this in the microwave for about 20 seconds and then it will be the chocolate's like nice and soft and warm and I just love it like that. And that is pretty much it. I've got some water as well, but that's all I have for breakfast, really. I'm not a big, like, massive breakfast eater. And to be honest, I often get up sort of, like, mid-morning anyway. So I don't like to have something too big. I'd rather have a bigger lunch and a bigger dinner. So that is my breakfast. Sorry if you can hear me yowling in the background as my cat is on heat and she won't stop me yowling. So I'm gonna get lunch now and let me just tell you, I've got a bit of a new obsession when it comes to lunch. And that is loaded fries, <laughs> which basically I had these at TGI Fridays um, and they were so, so nice. And I was like, I have to try and recreate that. And anyway, so basically I have found the nicest oven chips ever. Like, I'm not a massive fan of oven chips, but these are amazing. They're the McCain skin on fries. They're honestly so, so good. So I'm literally obsessed with these. So basically, I just have these, put these in the oven, and then I'll top it with um, some vegan bacon, some onion, some pepper, and then just some um, sauces, like some ketchup and some garlic aioli sauce. Oh, and some jalapenos. So this is honestly going to be such a nice lunch. But yeah, like, literally, these are the best oven chips I've ever had. Let me put them on the baking tray and then show you what they look like, because they look amazing. So you can't actually see very well because they're frozen, but they just taste really, really good. They're like the perfect thinness, thickness for, like, fries. Like, if you have them too thin, they often just go rock hard in the oven. Um, but if they're too thick, then it'll take ages to cook. So these ones are like perfect. So I was just getting some of the ingredients out and I'm actually gutted because I completely forgot that Tesco's didn't have the bacon <laughs> or the faken, the vegan bacon. And we were supposed to go and get some more and we forgot. So I haven't got any vegan bacon. So that's really sad. Um, so I think... It's going to have to just be, when I say loaded fries, it's just going to have to be loaded with jalapenos, onion and some pepper because we've got some pepper. <laughs> but I don't have the bacon, which is like the best bit. So, oh well. You just have to imagine it with bacon on. So this might be a bit weird, but I do like to have some salad with my fries <laughs> because I don't know, it just bulks out and they go really well together. And yeah, so I like to have a bit of salad and I'm obsessed with red onions. So yeah. So those are the chips done. I'm going to put a lot of salt on because I need to eat a lot of salt. Um, and I'm going to put my toppings on, minus the bacon. 
It still looks really nice and colourful, but just would have been nice to have the bacon there too. And then time for the sauces. So I use this um, garlic aioli sauce. This is absolutely amazing. I love this. It tastes so good. And some tomato ketchup. And there you have it. Loaded fries and salad. This is honestly like one of my favourite lunches. It's really, really filling and it tastes really good. So for my afternoon snack today, I'm going to be having some of these flaming Hot Watsits. Um, I really missed having Watsits for years because the cheese Watsits have milk powder in. And then when I saw these, I was like, oh my god, these are amazing because these are vegan. Um, and they're really, really nice. So I am going to enjoy a packet of these for my afternoon snack. So here are all the ingredients for tonight's dinner can you guess what we're having we are having one of my favorite meals which is a curry like an indian curry um so let me talk you through like what we have so i'm gonna have rice obviously then this is what we're gonna use to make the sauce because basically like i do not like jar curry sauces they taste really sugary and very very bland i just personally have never really liked them um we much prefer just to make our own sauce so we use this curry paste um this oat cream and just some tomato passata and honestly it tastes so much nicer and so much better than a jar sauce and then i'm so excited about this because recently Patax have made all of their naan breads vegan and that is so so helpful because a lot of naan breads contain dairy um so i'm so excited like to be able to have these again they are honestly so so nice so we'll be having like some of that with our dinner and then as our like a meat substitute we're going to be using these tesco plant chef meat free crispy nuggets um these are like a really nice chicken substitute i'm a bit funny about chicken substitutes because i don't like things that taste too chickeny because i never liked chicken but i really like these so we're gonna have those as our substitute and then we're also gonna have a bit of onion salad with it as well i just think that tastes so nice and like gives it that fresh taste this is gonna be a really yummy dinner so i hope you can hear me because the kettles are on in the background but what we do is we put the passata and the curry paste some garlic coriander salt and pepper in this and then we put it in the bullet to blend it basically um and then we'll put it in the pan with the cream and we also add a ball of spinach because um it just melts in really nicely quite big as well so we just use like one and it just gives it that bit more flavor and texture to the sauce so that is the sauce cooking it looks so nice the rice is cooking that's our onion salad to share and yeah this looks really really nice so that is it all done and it looks so so nice this is one of my favorite dinners so i've just come into the kitchen to grab some dessert and this is what i'm going to be having for my dessert this is my newest obsession it is honestly so nice they're these little chocolate cake bars and obviously they're vegan it's not very easy to find stuff like this when you're vegan so they're only like really tiny but they're really 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 nice the chocolate on the outside is so so nice and then it's like cake in the middle so yeah i'm just i'm obsessed with these at the moment so that is what i'm gonna have for dessert so that was it for my what i eat in a day i really hope you enjoyed it i had some really 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 good food um and i hope it helped to give you some inspiration or yeah i hope you just enjoyed it in general please give it a like if you did enjoy and hit the subscribe button to see more thanks for watching bye